Let us start by creating a new project. No matter the kind of project you are doing, creating a new project will always be the starting point in Altium Designer. An Altium Designer project is nothing but a set of design documents whose output defines a specific implementation. For example, a PCB project can have documents like schematic, PCB, libraries, BOM, and text documents. And it will output all the data that is required to manufacture the PCB boards. When you create a new project, Altium Designer automatically creates a project file and add it to the project folder. This file that Altium creates is nothing but an ASCII text file that lists which documents are there in the project and related output setups. Let us now create a project as an example and add schematic and PCB files to it. The process of creating a new project is same for all project types in Altium Designer. There are several ways to create a project in Altium Designer. Let us look at the one I find most convenient. Just right click anywhere on the projects panel and a menu will appear to choose from. Go to add new project and you will see different project types that you can do in Altium Designer. Select PCB project and a PCB project file will get listed in the design window. Once the file appears, save it to an appropriate directory. To save the project file, right click on the project file this time and select save project. A dialog box will appear from where you can select the folder where you want to save all the project files. Give proper name to the file and save it. The file name will be updated in the design window. Once you have created the project and saved it to the required location, you are all set to start adding the design documents. The easiest way to add new design documents to a project is to right click on the project name in the projects panel and use add new to the project menu options. Let us first select schematic. A blank schematic sheet named sheet 1 displays in the design window and the schematic document is automatically linked to the project. Now follow the same procedure to add PCB to the project and a blank PCB sheet named PCB1 gets linked to the project. Now save all the documents using file menu. A dialog box will appear to save the PCB document. Select the same location where you have saved the project file and save the PCB document with a proper name. Once you do that, a dialog box to save schematic document will appear. Select the same location and give it the same name as that of the PCB document. Only the extensions will be different. That is it. Schematic and PCB documents are successfully added and linked to the project.